We will now present our next keynote speaker. Dr. Peter Carter is the founder of the Climate Emergency Institute. He has served as an expert reviewer for the International Panel on Climate Change. He is an expert on climate change issues, especially the implications of global climate change on food security for the world's most vulnerable regions and populations. And Peter has uh, recorded this for us. Hello, everyone. This exciting We Don't Have Time initiative rightly calls for action. Action that focuses on how to raise awareness globally and build a movement that demands change. So how aware are we? After 25 years of international attention to the issue, 40% of adults worldwide have never heard of climate change. More than 65% in some developing countries. This is an enormous opportunity for this initiative. Less than 50% of Americans think climate change is a serious threat. This is incredible. The world badly needs this initiative. We still have to get the basic facts of the climate emergency across to the whole world. Reporting is falling behind on awareness of the catastrophic severity of the issue. It's still being denied, ignored, and downplayed. For carbon dioxide alone, 2017 was a record high for fossil fuel CO2 emissions. The worst of all climate change news ever for the entire world went unreported in 2017. The WMO warned that atmospheric CO2 is at a three to five million year high and it's accelerating at a rate without any past precedent. The same applies to ocean acidification, so there is no more time. These uncomfortable facts are lifelines for our common future survival. Mother Earth is being severely impacted in every way, crying out for an Earth emergency movement. We are all in a dire emergency today. For a future livable climate and for our oceans, which are being hit by accelerating acidification, heating, and deoxygenation. This is a global biodiversity extinction emergency. For all life. It is a world food security emergency for all major crops in all major food producing regions. We need a global movement that demands real change, rapidly effective, radical change for our survival. The 2014 assessment of the IPCC said that the world economy must totally decarbonize, reaching, quote, near zero emissions of carbon dioxide. So the movement has to be a zero combustion energy movement. The awesome new technologies for this are growing fast. Our only future is fossil fuel free. The burning age is over. The new climate mobilization organization in the United States is having success with their city by city project of climate emergency action resolutions to municipal governments calling for cities to lead the race to zero emissions. Our Children's Trust, also in the US, having won every legal roadblock thrown at them, is taking the US government to court in October 2018. And this legal offensive movement has gone global. There are many ways we can support these young people in all countries. An Earth emergency movement will focus on forcing governments to cease subsidizing fossil fuel industries in short order, giving trillions of dollars every year, as the IMF reports, in subsidies to fossil fuel corporations is a monstrous crime. The science is definite. All reports on global greenhouse gas emissions to avoid planetary catastrophes say that global emissions must decline on an immediate basis by 2020 at the very latest. But the national emissions targets of our governments do just the opposite. They lead to substantially greater emissions by 2030. That is a planet killer policy, literally the crime of all time. Changing to near zero emissions means the vital key to our common future survival is conversion. 
total conversion of all fossil fuel energy, conversion of food production. The world is going vegan. The healthiest future for people on the planet is plant-based, meat-free. Conversion of transportation and of the construction industry, conversion of the war machine into peace and cooperation. This great world rebuild will be the biggest boost to economies and employment ever. No cost, all benefit, and a huge benefit to global health and security. We are in a race against time to cut carbon emissions to near zero through the new zero combustion world economy. We can, we must convert the world to rescue the future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Carton. Carter, that must have been one of the most powerful statements in a long time. Totally decarbonize the future. That's what we have to do. Yes. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. Based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. We need a global movement that demands real change. We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait.